Hello everybody and welcome to my quick and easy Photoshop tutorials. Now today I was uh, browsing through my uh, DeviantArt gallery to see something new that I can show you but I stumbled upon this older work of mine um, and I was thinking to show you how to create this. It's pretty simple Photoshop manipulation, pretty simple tutorial. Now obviously I'm gonna have to change some of the images I don't have anymore like this one but uh, it's pretty simple, it's kind of morbid and dark, but it's pretty simple to create, so let's go to Photoshop and create this one. Now, first thing we need to do is obviously open our images, and we're gonna need just these four images, which is great. Um, first, I'm gonna import this pre-made background from DeviantArt, this is awesome pre-made background, and I'm gonna duplicate it like this, rename it and I can now upload my second image which is really really dark and that's this one and I already have a PSD file since I already uh, use my pen tool to select it and crop it you can see it here I use pen tool to select it so just to save time I already did this so I'm just gonna hit Control A plus Control C and then Control V to paste it on my project and now I'm just gonna have to position it right so uh, you'll need to hit Control T because we need to scale this image down a bit to be more realistic something like um, this maybe a little more hit enter and okay now we are ready to open our second image and this is image of a father and a child so like with the first image i already cropped it out from its background to save time on video and i'm gonna upload it on my project and same thing as previous image i'm gonna scale it down and i will just I, I need to compare these two images because uh, father and child have to be a little bit smaller since they are far away and I'm gonna position it like this so this is our composition and now we are going to do some adjustments to images we just uploaded so let's do it okay we can continue now so I will go to, uh, to my uh, woman layer and uh, I need to add adjustment layer to this, so I'm just gonna add hue and saturation, clip it to my layer, and I'm gonna put the lightness all the way down to minus 90, like this, and um, that's okay. And now I can see that the rope doesn't look uh, really good, so I'm just gonna create a new layer and uh, name it rope. And I'm gonna select my pen tool and create new shape. I'm gonna paint it something like this. It's okay. Uh, right click, make selection, and um, hit OK and fill it with the black color with our paint bucket tool. Something like this. And I will make the same thing again right here. So it looks it looks a little bit better. Make selection and fill with black color. Okay, so I am uh, I'm really happy with this. I'm I'm happy with how it looks, and um, I'm just gonna make a uh, couple adjustments here. I'm gonna make new layer and clip it to our woman layer, and choose soft brush, soft black brush, and just gonna paint it right here. So this silhouette looks a little bit better like this and um, okay I will group these layers so I can continue with father and child now I'm gonna scale it down a bit more something like this and make copy and rename it to shadow and put it beneath our dad and child layer and I'm gonna just uh, go back to our original layer and make adjustment on this layer. So I'm gonna add a hue saturation again, clip it to it, uh, put the hue down, put the lightness down. You can follow my lead here. 
and uh, I'm gonna add uh, something something more I'm gonna add color balance to to add a little more blue color to this this is not be as much visible but you know little details does hurt like this and now I can go back to my shadow layer I'm gonna make it visible again hit ctrl T and flip it vertically and gonna put it down like this hit ctrl T and add distort to this so I can so I can make this shadow looks a bit better now since the moonlight is coming from our left side I'm gonna I'm gonna put this shadow more to the right something like this hit ok and now we're gonna go to adjustments hue and saturation and put the lightness all the way down since this is a shadow hit ok and I'm just gonna adjust it a bit better I will need to use my eraser tool to remove this and this part and now I'm just gonna use my brush tool with uh, black color and hardness to 100 and opacity to 100 to make this shadow looks a bit better like this we're just gonna paint this stuff and uh, yeah this looks way better it looks more uh, realistic now we can go to filter blur and uh, Gaussian blur so we're just gonna blur it a little bit so put one here and hit the OK button and we can put our shadow to like 90% 90, 90 of the opacity ok now go back to our background and add brightness and contrast to it clip it and uh, put the brightness to minus 15 and contrast to 30 like this and we can continue now with our work I'm just gonna put in the group uh, dad and a child like this and now we can finally add our texture to the project now I'm just gonna upload this image and uh, control A, control C and control V to our image and we're gonna flip it and scale scale it up to, to fit the, our image like this name it texture and go to image adjustments and choose hue saturation and put minus 50 to the image and put the opacity to 60% and switch blend mode to like soft light and um, I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit more something like this until you're happy with the result and hit the enter button okay now um, this part of image looks kind of empty so we need to add fog so create new layer, name, name it fog, go to edit, fill and fill it with uh, black color, we need it for our clouds and we need black and white color to be set it up, so add clouds and now we have our clouds and we are gonna create um, fog from this, so just follow my steps here, now we're gonna change blend mode, we're gonna blur it out and we're gonna mask it out to look like fog supposed to look so just follow me on this This, uh, this masking process is kind of long one so um, you just need to be patient with this but it, uh, it's, it's subtle it looks very good and um, now we can uh, now we can move on we are gonna we're gonna hit shift control alt and E together and have a new layer 
merge all images. So now filter and go to camera raw. And now we're just gonna play with these uh, sliders. We're just gonna adjust it. Uh, we're just gonna adjust um, temperature, tint, exposure, not, <laughs> not that much. A little bit of the exposure, a little bit of contrast and uh, clarity up to like uh, 20 and the situation a bit, uh, bit down like this and hit the OK and now you can see before and after it looks kind of, kind of, it's kind of boosted up the, the, the whole image and now I'm just going to use touch tool to, to brighten up this uh, brighter part of the image like the moon and this um, this white clouds right here to make it look more dramatic so yeah um, it's it's pretty cool like this And one more thing I like to do right here, uh, I do not like that um, that this uh, bottom of the image is kind of bright, so I'm just gonna use my brush tool on the new layer with black color and just gonna paint it out like this to make it look more darker, but just, just on the edges of the image and uh, yeah, I think that looks better. I'm just gonna put the opacity down a bit. And um, I guess I lied before because I said we would only need four images, but I, I will use a fifth image and that's image of this smoke because I, I think the image needs more fog to look more dramatic and more kind of creepy. So I'm just gonna put it beneath our black brush layer and uh, flip it horizontally move it to the left a bit, something like this. Uh, we're gonna need to change our blend mode to screen and put the opacity and fill down, something like this, looks better. And go to image, adjustment and put the contrast up, all the way up and brightness to like minus 10, hit OK. So this is this is this is nice. Looks looks better. Looks kind of spooky. And the final thing, the the really final thing is uh, levels. So just go to levels and boost it up just a bit, like this, to make it looks a bit darker. And yeah, that's it. Uh, with just a couple of images, we created this creepy scenery. As you can see, it's pretty easy, it's pretty quick, and um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, or share your thoughts in the comment section below. So, thank you for watching, and see you next time!